Before you go, I got to ask you about Ashley Babbitt and, and, and the recent um, the recent announcement that came out on uh, Monday, basically clearing the lieutenant that shot uh, Ashley Babbitt. Many remember on January 6th, she's one that, that infiltrated the Capitol, went through the window. She was shot by uh, an alleged Capitol Police uh, officer or a Capitol Police officer is confirmed because the U.S. Capitol Police announced that they've cleared a lieutenant who fatally shot her inside the Capitol. But the New York Times reports this. After an extensive investigation, they found that he, the shooter, acted lawfully and potentially saved lawmakers and aides from serious harm or death. What are your thoughts on it, Sheriff? Uh, pretty dramatic, I think. Look, I'm the biggest supporter of a law enforcement officer who uses uh, deadly force in the right way, okay, and that's according to the law. But at the same time, sometimes officers make mistakes, and we need to admit that a mistake was made. They're not doing that here. But here's the problem I have. It's the process. It was shrouded in secrecy from the beginning. There was no transparency. We would never get away with that on the local level. And I have a big problem with the Capitol Police investigating their own shooting. We don't do that at the local level either because of a conflict of interest. We go and get an outside agency to look at the investigation. So, uh, you know, I've investigated these things with the Milwaukee Police Department. I also supervise a, a team that investigated all police deadly uses of force. So I have experience in this. And I'm just a little, I'm, I'm, it doesn't pass the smell test to me. So I think the Justice Department ought to come in like they do at local agencies. They parachute in. They need to look at this. I mean, keep in mind, Brian Sicknick, it was said early on that he was killed after he was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher. That was not true. And the Capitol Police never debunked that lie. So that's why I said, I don't trust what's going on here. We need transparency. They need to release the report, and they need to let us see what happened. We still need justice for Ashley Babbitt. All right, we'll leave it right there. Sheriff David Clark weighs in, gives his thoughts on it. Sheriff, good to see you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.